Hi, I'm Aaron, the IDI Nut, or Workhorse Customs, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my Electroviscous Fan Clutch Conversion Kit and how it works, and go over some of the things that I explain in my instructions, but I also know that it's nice to see in video to just make it make a little more sense. If you open up the box, this will be the box that will come in if you buy my Builder's Kit or my Complete Kit you will also get a motorcraft fan clutch with it but regardless this is the nuts and bolts that make the electro viscous fan clutch conversion work so starting off we have this custom harness that i built using a motorcraft connector that connects to the fan clutch and makes it all seamless this is a flex light temperature sensor that is going in a coolant temp port um, whether you choose to use the one at the back of the head that I suggest whether you go for the one in the front of the water pump or find somewhere else that's up to you but this is the temp sensor that connects to the controller we've got the Flexalite instructions that can be found on their website uh, but it goes over how to set up the controller how to troubleshoot it if there's any issues anything else like that we also have Loctite brand, a one-time use little dauber to put a drop of blue Loctite on the water pump snout if you so choose to Loctite your fan clutch adapter to it. We have a fused power wire to the controller. We have a ground for the controller. We have two very long wires that you trim to fit. We have our ignition power for the controller, and we have our AC trigger for the controller. We have the flex light controller itself. We have heat shrink butt connectors and a spare fuse for all of this, because that's what I include when I want you to connect the various different power wires, the ground wires, the triggers, all of that. I use heat shrink butt connectors on my own stuff, so I supply them to you. Here's all of the hardware, the mounting bolts for the fan clutch to the fan, the custom adapter that I have machined specifically for this, and then a couple of brass adapters for the temp sensor. All right, so we have the hardware and the controller laid out that will come in the kit. The hardware will use the factory 6.4 fan clutch and will mount to either the stock mechanical fan for my upgraded nine blade fan for the ultimate in cooling. Obviously the beauty of this is it allows you to have the benefits of an electro viscous fan clutch with either the stock mechanical or with my upgraded fan. Basically that boils down to all of the pluses of having this fan clutch controller make cooling a dream. Uh, so this fan controller, I chose it simply because it checked all my boxes. Uh, it has a 60% duty cycle with AC. It has the option for a 100% duty cycle with a user supplied toggle switch. So say you're coming up on a hill that you know is pretty rough, you kick it on, you have this fan roaring into life before you ever start pulling the hill and making the heat. So that way you can be cooling preemptively instead of as an afterthought as the stock mechanical does where it gets up to about 215 plus or minus five degrees and then locks in which is generally part way up the hill once you've already started making heat this allows you to do that before that ever happens it also has a 60 to 100 percent duty cycle over a 10 degree temperature swing so for example if you set this to come on at 200 degrees by the time you made it to 210, it will have gone from 60% kick on at 200 to 100% duty cycle at 210 degrees, giving you driver's ability to just drive and not have to worry about how much your fan is cooling because the controller takes care of it for you. It also has a wonderful, wonderful feature of mimicking the factory PCM out of a 6.4 power stroke almost exactly. I tested over a dozen different fan controllers until I found this one that mimicked almost exactly the factory Hertz frequency that the PCM is putting out to control the fan clutch. And I chose that because I want this fan clutch to live as long as a fan clutch in a 6.4 power stroke would. 
Real quick before I go to the engine bay and finish off this video showing you things, I wanted to stop off and say a couple things about this. Um, this is obviously a display used Motorcraft fan clutch, but for the same reason that I used Motorcraft in the connector, I also used Motorcraft in the fan clutch, simply because I have found their quality control to be better than aftermarket, and that ends up in a better cooling vehicle all around. The other thing I wanted to show was this connector which this is the connector that you will be cutting a hole in in your fan shroud to pass this through. And then this connector will connect on the outside to allow you to control your fan clutch. As you can see here, the stock seven blade metal fan bolts up beautifully to the 6.4 fan clutch, as well as my upgraded nine blade fan. So here's where I have mounted my controller. It was where I found it to be the cleanest and the best for wire routing. You are free to mount it wherever you'd like, but this is where I do recommend it. You have constant battery power that you can pull from here. You have right here at the mounting bolt for the fender solenoid, a great ground for the controller itself. And then right up there is your AC trigger wire and you need to make sure that you tie into the power wire of it, not the switched output side to the AC compressor. You also have running in that big wire loom right here, you have ignition power, and I give wiring diagrams in my instructions to pull off of that so that you can turn the controller on with ignition power. This is the coolant temp in the back of the driver's head that I use to control my fan clutch controller. I've found it to be within two degrees of the engine block over temp sensor location, which is where my aftermarket coolant temp sensor is at. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to get to and provides good wire routing abilities. On the passenger lower side of the radiator shroud, that's where I suggest having the 6 fork male side of the connector come through and cutting your holes. And then my supplied female connector connects right to it and can travel up into the wire loom up to the controller. Hopefully this video helps you understand some of the benefits of the kit as well as how to install it a little better if you had questions. And I'm hoping that this helps you guys stay cool out there. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or email me. I'll put all of the information in the description so that you can get a hold of me. Or if you want to order a kit, I'd be more than happy to talk with you.